Hello friends. Okay, the reflection's really bad, so I'm gonna take my glasses off <laughs> so you can see my face. So it is Monday, June something. <laughs> I don't even know the date. And um, I am going to be vlogging for the week this week. So, so I'll be checking in every day with you and let you know what's going on. So today it is currently 10 a.m. I don't know if I told you this, guys, this, but when I start my new job, I have to be there by 7.45 in the morning, and I'm used to waking up much later because I actually don't set an alarm and I wake up when I wake up, one of the luxuries of working from home and anyways. So last week, I set a goal to get up every day at 10, and this week, my goal is to get up every day at nine, and I'm gonna keep going until I get on the schedule I need to be on for work, which is probably, let's see, 7.45, about 5.30 a.m. It's probably like will be my goal of waking up during the school year. Anywho, what I'm gonna do right now is I have a bunch of errands to run. I need to go to, well, I don't need to, but I wanna go to Ulta. I have a gift card for my mom. And there's a couple things I want to get there so if I get anything I'll definitely share it with you and then I also want to stop by Maurice's to see if they have any more of those tank tops I got like some black tank tops a while back I'm gonna see if they have any more because I absolutely love them and they just go so well like as layering pieces so I want to see if they have some different colors and then I need to go to the grocery store I also want to check out Habitat for Humanity. Um, I, I had lunch with a, or I had, I had dinner with a friend last week, and she's she's a sorority mom, and she was telling me about how they donated all of their dining room chairs to Habitat for Humanity, and I'm actually looking for dining room chairs. Mine are antiques, and. Um, I had I think six or eight originally and now I'm down to three because they've just my family is too rough on chairs and they've broken so I want to just take a look and see how much those chairs are see what else they have I've never been to the Habitat to hum for Humanity store so we'll see what it's like um, I also need to run to Target to pick up a couple things and I need to go to the grocery store so I have a ton of Oh my gosh, that is a ton. Thank goodness I brought water with me because it's going to be another hot day today. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. So I am back. I didn't get anything at Maurice's. The tank tops I were looking for, they didn't have my size on hand in the store. But one interesting thing is on the website they're on sale and in the store the regular price. So I asked them if I had found my size, could I have gotten the sale price? And I could have. You just They say you just have to show them the website where it's on sale and they will honor the sale price. So that's pretty cool bit of information there. So then I went over to Ulta and I was very successful at Ulta. So let's take a look at all the fun stuff I got. So the main thing I was looking for is I wanted some, some kind of foundation to wear in this kind of weather, like very, very hot weather where I'm like sweaty and hot and everything else just seems to melt off. And um, they recommended this, it's called Tula, I believe. Radiant Skin Brightening Serum Skin Tint Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 30 UVA plus UVB protection. And she also did, the lady who was helping me, did like tested a bunch of colors. I think she tested like seven different colors on my face until we found the right one. It was really cool when we found the right one because it literally looked like my skin. Like the other ones you could tell like they were too light or too dark, but this one literally just looked like my skin and it was pretty awesome. So we're gonna try this on in a second here. We're also gonna try on, I picked up the, the, the sealer, the, the concealer in that brand as well. So we're gonna try these two together because I'm not currently wearing any makeup. I do have mascara on, I don't know if you can even tell. <laughs> that is the only makeup I put on today. Um, and then I picked up, uh, something I already use all the time. I just I just re I'm restocking. This is the face lotion that I use on a daily basis. 
I have very sensitive skin and this works wonders. I love it. I also wanted to try their facial cleanser in the same brand. The brand is called First Aid Beauty. And this is their sensitive skin face wash. So I'll have to let you know how that works for me. I also am going to try their acne spot treatment gel. I don't have a lot of acne, but every once in a while I'll get a little spot. And I thought, and it says it's safe for sensitive skin. So I thought I've had such great luck with their moisturizer. Why not just stick with them? <laughs> so I got these three face products and then I got, um, I just wanted a gentle eye, remaker, eye makeup remover. I wanted something to like gently remove eye makeup and this is what they suggested. It's by Clinique. It's called Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. And I just got the little bottle of it. They had like a little bottle and a big bottle. I got the little bottle to try because I wanna make sure I like it before I invest in a big bottle. So let's try this concealer and foundation and see how it looks. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Okay, so bringing you in closer. So the way it feels is like I'm wearing nothing or just like a little, it's very moisturizing and it feels like almost like a, I just put on some more moisturizer. It feels so good on my skin. Um, and I think it's going to do the trick. I just wanted a little, like I didn't need like full coverage necessarily, just like a little something to get me through the day. So. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks right now. Of course, I don't have any other makeup on, but um, let's check in, back in on it on a few hours and see if I'm, if I'm still liking it or if it's like falling, I'll, I'll let you know. So we'll check back in in a few hours. <laughs> okay, so next I headed over to Habitat for Humanity. They had a huge assortment of used furniture, but not what I was looking for. So. If those dining room chairs made it to the building that I went to today, then they're already gone. <laughs> they weren't there. And the, the, one chair, the chairs that they did have available, if they had like a whole set available, you also had to get the table. Otherwise they had like individual set, um, chairs and they didn't match. So yeah, it was a little bit disappointing. Also, their prices seemed really high to me and I almost felt like you could probably get new furniture for the price that they were selling this used furniture at. So that was a bit of a bust. Then I went over to Target and I got a few more things with my gift card from Nelly. Hi Nelly, thank you for the gift card again. First, I got some hairspray because I don't have any. And this is Tresemme Ultra Fine Hairspray Lock in Moisture, Lock Out Frizz. Um, I don't know if this is a good brand or not. It just looked like it just looked good to me, so I thought I would try it. And then I got this new thing I've been wanting to try. This is called a hair bonnet. So this is a new product to me. I've never tried this before, but I'm looking for something that I can wear over my hair at night and kind of protect it from breaking and frizzing and just getting worse. Um, so, wow, it's like super long. I don't need to, my hair's not that long. But here, let's see. I'll show you what it's gonna look like when I put it on. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. So I'm gonna wear this to bed and hopefully my hair will break less. That is the goal. Um, my hair just drives me crazy when I sleep. I turn, I toss and turn a lot and it gets all up in my face and gets in my way. And I wake up and I'm like a crazy frizzy mess. So I thought I would give this a try. And then the last thing that I wanted to try, I'm so excited. I love matcha frappuccinos from Starbucks, but one, they're expensive. And two, I recently looked up how much sugar was in them because I don't know if you know this, but I've recently gone sugar-free or as low sugar as possible. They have 
43 grams of sugar in it. 43 grams is insane. So this has zero grams of sugar. And the other ingredients I'm gonna to use to make it um, also will have zero grams of sugar. So let's head over to the kitchen and try making this now. I'm so excited. So this did end up being a big disaster. <laughs> but I will let you know, I did try again the next day and I perfected it the next day and it is much better. But this first day, first, my biggest, my first mistake was I filled this blender cup with ice and it was way too much ice. So that was my first mistake. Next, I added a cup of this unsweetened almond milk to the ice. Then I added one teaspoon of matcha to my milk and ice mixture. I also added half a teaspoon of vanilla extract to this mixture as well. Next, I ended up adding several of these packets. I think I started with one or two, and then I added more. I blended it, and then I added more. What it is is monk fruit in the raw, which is a uh, it's a sugar-free um, sweetener, and um, it just never tasted sweet, unfortunately. So I added several, and it's just, like I said, never tasted sweet. And also, too, you'll see, like, it's kind of, the blender's kind of struggling because I had way too much ice in here, and it made a lot more than just the one cup I wanted, so I ended up making a cup for both Logan and I, and he was very disappointed. <laughs> Dude, he didn't like it at all. And then to top it all off, I ended up making a huge mess all over my counter while I was trying to get it into the thing. It was just such a thick, like goopy mess. Luckily, it was pretty easy to clean up. And I finally topped it with some sugar-free whipped cream, which I have to say was the best part on this first <laughs> attempt. <laughs> Date. I've got everything print, cut, and sorted for Jacob to come in and cut in the morning. Um, what I'm going to do tonight, it's already 8 o'clock. <laughs> I feel like the time's just flying. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm going to hang out with Logan the rest of the night. He wanted to just to go for a drive. We do that sometimes. We just drive around and listen to music. <laughs> the things you do for fun when you live in Iowa. <laughs> So we're gonna do that and then when we come home there's a couple of different shows that he wants to watch with me so we'll probably watch one of those shows or movies I'm not sure um, yeah and that's the rest of my night so I'm gonna say good night to you here and I'll see you in the morning but real quick update on this foundation I am loving it I don't know if you guys can see the lighting's not the best it still feels like I'm not wearing anything but it's giving me a little bit of coverage and I love that Okay, second attempt at making a matcha frappuccino at home. This time it went much better. First of all, I only used four ice cubes. Then I did half a cup of the unsweetened almond milk and half a cup of this sugar-free coffee creamer, which is in the flavor hazelnut. I did one tablespoon of the matcha powder, and this time I only did one a quarter teaspoon of the vanilla extract. I mixed it all together, put it in my cup, and added that sugar-free whipped topping and it was way better today. This matcha frappuccino is amazing. I mean, I would very gladly drink this versus going to Starbucks and getting theirs. Even though it tastes a little bit different, it's just as delicious. I need to get like a cup, <laughs> like a clear cup with a straw, like a thick straw. I still have $9 left on my Target gift card from Nelly, so I think I'm gonna go and see if I can find a cup. 
maybe tomorrow because today I'm really busy. First of all, I'm going to be straightening my hair today. So after my shower, I didn't put any curl cream on my, on my curls. So this is what my curls look like if I don't put any curl cream on them. Super, super frizzy. <laughs> so I'm just going to pin it out of the way while I do my makeup and then we'll straight, I'm going to straighten the hair and curl it later. So I went out to dinner with a friend tonight and I thought I would do full makeup, but I'm going to use my new foundation because it was so great yesterday. So I'm going to use that new foundation, but then I'm going to do a full face of makeup today. So the friend I'm going out with tonight, her name is Lynette and I have known her since 2016. So how many years is that? Eight years. Wow. We recently reconnected and, um, I asked her if we could get together and she was available. So we're gonna get together and get caught up on everything. I haven't seen her. We, we got together like once after COVID and that was it. So I've only seen her like once in the last, goodness, four years. So we have a lot of catching up to do. So the last time I went out to dinner with a friend, I did something super embarrassing. I can't believe I'm going to tell you guys this. <laughs> so, um, it's been, you know, I was married for over 20 years, so I didn't do a whole lot of flirting in that time. So <laughs> this was my first attempt at flirting. I wasn't flirting with my friend. <laughs> She's a former like uh, co-worker. She used to teach with me and her name is Janice. And um, she and I were having dinner together to celebrate my new job, which she helped me get because she was one of my references for my new job. So we were out celebrating that. And I happened to get to the restaurant a few minutes before she did. So I sat down and I told the hostess my friend was coming to meet me there. And um, the hostess never asked me my name or my friend's name. And I was thinking, how is the hostess gonna know, you know, know who to sit, seat me with? But then, I, but then I thought, they'll figure it out. So after a couple of minutes, they bring this guy over to my table. And the guy's smiling at me like real big and friendly, like he knows me. And I'm looking at him and I'm thinking, who's this guy? <laughs> I don't know this guy, but he's smiling at me. So I look at the hostess and I just shake my head no. And the guy looks at me and says, oh no, like he looked so hurt and so sad. And I said, no, I'm sorry, are, are you here on a date? And he said, yeah, I'm here on a blind date. Okay, and now this is the embarrassing part. <laughs> I said to him, well, if it doesn't work out, you come back. <laughs> I don't know what got into me. He looked at me and he said, really? Like, he was so excited. I said, sure. He was, my guess is around my age. He looked like he was around my age. He was like, just, you know, looked like polished and clean cut. And uh, he, he was handsome and I don't know what got into me. I felt afterwards, I'm like, oh my God. I mean, he responded very nicely, but I was like, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Luckily, my friend and I finished our meal before his date was over. So I was able to like scoot out of the restaurant before I could find out how his date went. When I'm done with my makeup, I'm going to have a couple of hours to print stickers before I meet my friend for dinner tonight. And um, I like watching like TV shows on Netflix while I work. I like listening to books or watching shows on Netflix and I'm just in the not listening to books mood right now. So the problem is, is I have just recently watched three good series and now I don't know what to watch. So first I watched, you know, the most recent season of Bridgerton which was so good. And then I was so sad when it was over because it was over. I always get sad when things come to an end because I'm like, now what do I do? Now what do I watch? So I then watched Dairy, like Barry, Dairy Girls, which was amazing. So funny. And I am not a comedy show kind of person, but it was so funny. And like, so 
but like felt so poignant and important at the same time. They, they just had a healthy balance. It was all about this group of girlfriends growing up in Northern Ireland in the 90s, the late 90s. And um, if you know anything about that area and that time frame, um, it was very contentious with the IRA. Actually, there was a 30 year period where there was a lot of conflict with the IRA, but it ended, well not ended, but they came to a peaceful resolution in 1998 and that's where this series ends. It was just so fascinating. I knew nothing about it. Um, and the show didn't focus on that part of it all. The show focused on these crazy teenage girls doing crazy things in their lives. Like they were almost like completely unaware of what was happening around them. But it was, but it's a super fun show. I told all I told all my boys to watch. I told Logan to watch it. I made Logan watch the first episode with me, and then I told Jacob that he should watch it with his girlfriend. And then I texted my best friend Megan. I told her she needed to watch it. So I'm telling everybody to watch this this series. So there's only three seasons of that show, and then I think there was only like eight episodes per season. So I went through it pretty quickly, and then. I got sad and I was like, what do I watch now? So I went to Netflix and Netflix um, recommended this docu-series to me. And I'm like, that doesn't sound like something I would be interested in at all, but I gave it a shot. I think it's called America Sweetheart. It was about the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders in 2023. And they follow these group of this group of cheerleaders, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. I know nothing about football, nothing about cheerleading, but they follow this group of cheerleaders from tryouts all the way through the season. And it was fascinating. These girls, I have so much respect for them. They work so hard. Like not only are they hardworking and talented, and it takes a whole lot of work and effort to even get on the team in the first place. Once they're on the team, they're working full-time jobs, plus doing that, and they get paid very, very little. They said they get paid equivalent to what a substitute teacher makes. So very, very little. So that show is over <laughs> again. I finished that one. And now I'm on the search for my next show. I obviously love shows, like very girly shows. Bridgerton, Dairy Girls, America's Sweethearts, the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders. Like, I like very girly shows. So if you have any recommendations for very girly shows, please let me know. I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, and I have HBO. And I am watching House of the Dragon. It's just, it's just restarted. But that's, they're only showing one episode a week, so I can't just like sit and binge it for hours while I'm working in the shop. So yeah, I'm currently looking for a recommendation. May you always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point Makes a world of difference, oh you make me strong Pretty little thing You're a diamond in the rough Shining from within I can tell that you're tough Order in a cup of love Feel it rising up and above You will always keep my heart and soul strong Plant your seeds and watch them grow The light will always know where to go You will always keep my heart hey guys, happy Wednesday So last night I had so much fun with my friend Lynette She is um, a widow So we actually have some things in common Like even though 
my situation and her situation are totally different. She has done a lot of solo traveling and I want to do solo traveling. So she gave me some tips and told me about her adventures and it just got me really excited about the future and possibly traveling in the future because that's something I've always wanted to do, but it's not something that my ex enjoyed doing. So we just never did, we never traveled but it's something I personally hope to do one day. So it was just fun to kind of daydream about that and hear about all her experiences. And um, then when I came home, Logan had <laughs> had this new video game he wanted to share with me. And if, if you don't know, Logan loves to play video games and he's been trying to get me to play video games with him for years. Like he'll always like look for one and then say, I think I found a video game you're gonna like, which is so funny to me because I always tell him, I don't like video games. <laughs> I, I, I try to be like, um, I don't know what the word is, but like I, I sit with him, I watch him play, I try to interact with him about the video game, but I never found, we've never found a video game that I actually like liked and wanted to play, but he found this game and I actually liked it. I think this is the coolest video game I've ever seen. And I believe it's called Detroit Becoming Human or Becoming Human Detroit. And it's about androids and in Detroit in the future, like 2038, I think. And you play as these different androids and I'm not doing it justice, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. You get to make different choices and it's a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So we started playing that last night when I got home from dinner and then we're gonna continue playing tonight after I'm done with work. So what I've been working on today is I have been designing the June mystery kits. I've decided to only do two more mystery kits this year, so I'll do one in June and one in July because August I'll be starting my new job and I don't want to, um, I just know like it takes a lot of time and so I won't be doing mystery kits starting in August. My, so the June one, the one I'm releasing right now is gonna be a fall themed mystery kit and then the one I release in July will be a winter themed um, mystery kit. I, of course, I can't show you the mystery kit. It is so cute, <laughs> so unique and different from anything I've ever done. But um, I can show you the colors. Here, let me show you the colors of the kit. Give you a little sneak peek. Here they are. Like I said, it is a fall themed mystery kit. So maybe the colors aren't that surprising. I can show you, I did make some other designs today. I have some just really great customers who uh, asked for some special designs for me to add them to the shop. And because I have a little more time during the summer, I was able to add these designs for them. So first, these are all script stickers. So the first one is a happy anniversary sticker. So, um, it's not currently available in the shop, but by the time this video goes up, it will be available on the shop. And then another one is meeting. I used to have meeting stickers. I don't know what happened to them. They weren't in my shop anymore, they weren't listed. And when I went to my designs, there wasn't a design for it, but I know I've had these in the past. So I just redesigned that, that wasn't too much work. I spent a lot of time on this one and I had so much fun, but um, this is a grade level meeting. That was, this one was super fun for me to, to film, playing with fonts and different graphics and putting it all together. So three new script stickers that will be available in the shop um, by the time this video goes live. So I, I have finished designing the Budget Mom Mystery Kit. I still need to make the Universal Mystery Kit because the Mystery Kit is available in Universal and um, the Budget Mom Budget by Paycheck Workbook. Those are the only two mystery kits I do. So I need to go ahead and do that. Then I'm gonna make a plan with me video today. And then I'm going to go have dinner with Logan and play our game together. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. So that's my plan. Um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Hello friends and happy Thursday. So I've had a busy morning. I released my mystery kits, my June, my June mystery kits today. So I had to upload a video and then I had to make three postings, um, letting you guys know. I, I post on my Facebook group, YouTube and Instagram to let you guys know when mystery kits are available. Um, what else? I took pretty much all morning. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is I'm currently filling orders. So I have all these stickers and orders laid out there on this table and the table behind me. And I am currently re-watching Bridgerton because I can't find anything else that like 
looks um, interesting to me on Netflix. I like there's actually there are some things that are interesting, but they're kind of like dark, like murder mystery kind of things, and I just don't want that right now. I want something like light and fun and pretty. <laughs> pretty to watch. So that's what I'm doing. Curly hair is back. I had fun having my uh, big curls, big curling iron curls for a couple days there, but it really wasn't me. <laughs> back to my normal hair. And I am going to get all of these orders put together and then um, Logan and I are going to head over to the post office and the grocery store just to pick up a couple of items. We're not going to do a big grocery shopping or anything. And I don't know what we're doing tonight. I have to talk to Logan. We've been doing something fun every night. We might continue playing our game because we're not done with our game yet. Or we might watch a movie. We have a whole list of movies that we want to watch together. So we'll do something. We'll, get gro we'll go to the post office, get groceries, make dinner, and then either watch a movie or play a game. I love the summer when he and I just have time to hang out and do fun stuff together like that. So that's the plan. But first I've got to get all these orders filled and then I can go and do everything else. Hi, let's go. guys yesterday. Just a second, I need a drink. I've got my matcha. I still haven't gotten a new cup yet for my matcha. I'm going to try to get that today. I'm taking Logan to Target later to pick up a birthday card for David. His birthday's on Monday, so I'll try to pick up the cup for me while we're at Target. Also have my water and my breakfast. I'm still eating my, <laughs> my egg whites and potatoes. By the way, you know, I keep telling you guys that this, this diet is not for me to lose weight. It's just, you know, for my stomach health, and it totally is. But I weighed myself this morning just out of curiosity, and I'm down 10 pounds without even trying. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, so happy. Okay, so yesterday, Logan and I went to see a movie. It was Fun Friday for us, and Logan doesn't like to be filmed, so I anytime I'm doing something with him, I try not to film it or not film him at least. But anyways, we went to a movie and we saw A Quiet Place Day One. And my review of the movie is that it's good, but I am a fan of horror films, so take that. <laughs> you know, if you don't like horror films, you're probably not gonna like it, but I'm a fan of horror films. And um, it was it was good. The only, and I think, I think the, I'm not gonna give anything away, but I just wanna say, uh, that I thought the ending was perfect. Like, great way to end a movie. And um, it here's the thing, the very first one, I've never seen the second movie, but the first one, I feel like was so groundbreaking that I guess I expected something kind of groundbreaking in this one. I don't know why I expected that, but it was just, it wasn't groundbreaking. It was good, but there was nothing like, really unexpected or like shocking or anything. It was 
pretty much expected, but good. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's what I'm gonna say about that movie. I would recommend it if you like horror movies. Um, it just have, you know, normal expectations. <laughs> um, and that was really like the biggest thing I did yesterday. It was a pretty chill day yesterday. Just hung out with Logan all day. It was really fun. Today I'm getting back to work. So this morning I'm gonna be closing out my budget. I haven't made my to-do list today, but I need to close out my budget. I need to take Logan to Target later. I need to take David to Sam's later. And then I need to, um, and then I have several things I could do for work depending on how much time I've left in the day. I could continue working on new designs. I could start filling orders for next week. I'm already up to 15 orders that need to get filled. I could start working on those. So we'll just have to see how the day plays out. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I just wanna do a quick check-in before I log off for the week. I went to Sam's, I went to Target. They didn't have what I was looking for. So I'm gonna show you what I was looking for. I found it on Amazon. So I'm gonna get it from Amazon instead. So this is what I was looking for, a glass with a lid and a straw. But um, they didn't have that at Target, but they have lots of options here. I think I'm gonna go with this one because I can get one for $7.99 or I could get four for $14.98. So it just seems like a really good deal. So that's the route I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and get those orders ordered. And then I'll have a nice glass to drink my matcha frappuccinos out of. So I did finish the budget check-in video. It is currently uploading here to YouTube. So while it's uploading, I'm working on the thumbnail. So that's what I'm working on here. So I'm gonna get those things done and then I'm gonna call it a week. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I'll see you all again next time. Bye, everyone. Stickers placed. Stickers placed.